We've got a few more parrots to show, these sort of things, parrots. Although one of them actually have to, my colleague pointed out is probably a toucan, never mind, he's a he's um, um pretending to be a parrot. But anyway, four little items, two of which I don't think I've ever shown before, and we'll see how we get on. The first one is the supposed parrot, and it's probably something you're familiar with, as they have them around everywhere. What you do is you put it on the um table, and when people have finished the meal and they want to uh, finish off, they do that. And out comes a toothpick. Isn't that clever? And then if someone else wants one, they do it again. Of course, there's a whole pile of toothpicks inside for it to pick up. Very nicely done. So that works extremely well. There's a craft toy for kids that I've never, never, never tried before, which I'm going to have me go. It needs a battery inside. When you push, it makes a noise. What you can't see here is, I'm going to have one quick go close up to the camera. There's a tiny, there's a tiny, tiny little Oh, it's in, always invisible, isn't it? There's a tiny little pin that comes in and goes out again. And when I had the thing disassembled, I, I, ha I had to go at to sharpening the pin to make it work better. But if I put a finger there, it just, oh yes, it pricks slightly, but ever so slightly, because it only comes out a tiny bit. So the idea of that is to put it on, well, they provide you with a sheet, which I haven't yet tried, but I'll do it, I suppose, sometime, of things you can cut out. Each one of these can be cut out using that little pinprick, making lots and lots of tiny little pinpricks. And then that one there, for instance, make a nice spiral once you've actually cut it out. These other figures, once you've cut them out, you can make them into little stand-up animals. I'll have a go at cutting out a little bit of origami paper, which I've got here on the sheet. So the, the critical point is you must have this, which comes with it. It's a piece of foam, and that has to be a foam underneath you can't be anything else and then when you put something on top of it i'll put this other one on top i've already cut something out of but we'll do it again and when you put it on like that you push this button here and you draw down here I'll, I'll see if i can just cut this first piece off that's a fairly straight line but i could make it a wiggly line i suppose and it comes out because it's been pinpricked and if I had to go with doing a round piece like that, I can do that as well. I think the paper is important too. I, I haven't yet tested it, but it has to be done on this. It's something that a kid can actually thoroughly enjoy. I'll do, uh, do one more with a wavy line on a new bit of paper, just for a bit of fun. So I'm just getting the idea of this. Okay, Polly, let's see what you've done. Yep, oh, that's very nice, yes. Quite beautiful, isn't it? So, a very clever little constructional toy, and I got that all oh, a long, long time ago, but I've um, never, never played with it before, so that fun. Here's two which I've had for some time. I may have shown at least one of these is a yo yo, actually. It's the Japanese yo yo by Alps, and it's charming because it does perform. Look at that. It's actually a yo ball in that there's not an inertial wheel, there's a spring which you pull against like that, and the idea is to stand back a bit. And make it yo up and down like that. It flies through the air and squeaking at the same time. <laughs> but the quality of it, I mean, it's got quite tattered now because it's about 30 years old. It's just amazing that they've gone to such trouble to make a, a charming thing, complete with, complete with legs as well. A yo ball effect, but in a parrot. And the last one is also a type of yo yo. It's really, a, I put it in my collection of yo yo listings as an inverted yo yo. A yo-yo normally has a string going down the middle and then two wheels either side containing inertia. This is completely the opposite. It's got some, um, well, there's the parrot itself. He's on a perch. And it's got strings going down the outside and then it yo's like this. And goes up again. Very clever. So all the weight is on the inside, not the outside, as with yo-yo wings. It's on the inside. You couldn't make it sleep, I don't think. It would be difficult to do that, actually. But something worth thinking about. But it yo-yos, and for small kids, that's just about handleable. And uh, a very charming idea. So, well done, pretty Polly. We'll see what else we can find. You must have some more friends in my collection somewhere. But there we are. A few more parrots. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>